Filecoin is now the world's most transparent major blockchain when it comes to electricity use. And the way we did that is by using this fact that we have proofs of the computational resources that every storage provider contributes to the network on chain and used that as an input for our energy model. Right. And so that, that is, is a, a sort of unappreciated feature of, of Filecoin, right? Is that when you want to understand what the environmental impacts are of a blockchain, if you only see nodes in your network when they win a block reward, then you need a techno-economic model to try to figure out how many nodes are mining and what their hash rate is. But in our case, we actually have proofs of what the resources of every single node are. And we're able to take that, take these on-chain proofs and translate those directly into an energy model, which is huge. If you want more information on that, you can go to the Energy dashboard. And what I'm gonna do now is preview a couple new features that are coming up on that dashboard. So for a few months, we've had these models allowing you to see what the energy use rate is. We call it power. Um, in, 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 uh, in energy land, uh, power means your rate of energy use. Um, of course, in, in, uh, in blockchain land, uh, power means something else. Um, so we, you know, for, for, um, for a few months, we've been showing what the rate of energy use was, but we want to allow people to see over a period of time, what is the cumulative amount of energy used by a given storage provider. And so that is one of these graphs that you can see on the right here. You're gonna be able to uh, select a period of time and select either the entire network or an individual storage provider. And you're gonna be able to see how much energy in some have they used over time. That's gonna be really useful when we combine it with the graph on the, graph on the left which shows the amount of renewable energy that has been purchased by the storage provider over time. So that information is already public, but what we're gonna be able to show is just graphically really easy. What is this ratio between the amount of energy that you've used and the amount of renewable energy that you've purchased and allow people to just see, okay, is the storage provider you know, running 100% of renewable energy? Are they running 150%? Are they running 50% of renewable energy over this time period? So that's going to be really powerful. And that's going to link to the Zero Labs website where you're going to be able to go and take those renewable energy purchases and download the actual re the, the record in the renewable energy registry, proving that they actually have purchased that renewable energy and they own it. Next, um, uh, as, as has been mentioned, we had a sustainable blockchain summit at South by Southwest. This went amazingly well. We brought people from all over our community and from the crypto and, and sustainability space in general together for a day to talk about what we're doing in Filecoin, what people are doing beyond the Filecoin ecosystem and where this, this concept of sustainable blockchains is going. So Michael Casey, um, the, the chief content officer for Coindesk, uh, led a uh, led a great panel on the left there. David Dow and Sharfi Adamantine talked about what they're doing at Gainforest, in um, which is a project in which they are documenting using satellite and drone data the deforestation of the Amazon and protecting individual plots of the Amazon and storing all of that data on Filecoin. So you're able to buy an NF tree, which pays people local local people in the area to protect a plot of land. And then you're able to use data on Filecoin to verify over time that that plot of land is being preserved. Super, super powerful. Beltran talked about what they're doing at Zero Labs, building this worldwide renewable energy marketplace. Um, there was a, a storage provider panel that Mark Johnson led um, that had, uh, this is uh, Jonathan Hooker, Hitty Hoodland, and Alex Altman, um, who are three major storage providers that you may have run into. Um, Alex DeVries in the, in the upper second from right um, uh, started Digiconomist, and he talked about his perspective on blockchain energy use. Olya on the right talked about um, what makes a good carbon offset as people are striving to offset their environmental impacts. How do you tell the difference between a project that's doing a really good job at doing that and one that is, is just trying to check the box? Um, Clara and Juan and I talked about the amazing things the Falcon Foundation is doing um, to uh, to make the uh, 
the, the whole ecosystem more sustainable. And all in all, it was, it was just an amazing event. Um, uh, we also, as Colin mentioned, now have a website at green.filecoin.io. Please come visit it and check out all of the different uh, projects that we're working on and you know, show people there if they want to learn more, if they want to get involved. Also, please come to our next monthly meetup, which is going to be on the 5th of April. And we're going to, um, to have some great talks, um, both from Gainforest, um, from, uh, from uh, David and Charfi, and about um, immersion cooling for Falcon storage providers and what we're doing to help Falcon storage providers be as energy efficient as possible. Thank you so much.